good. God is good. God is good. And all the time, Wamama hai. Uh uh, that's a bit low. Wamama hai. Your Excellency, I'm really so excited to be here this morning. And for me today, I'll just speak a little bit about how when we have somebody like His Excellency, who is the party leader, who is a party leader and now the president, obviously, but back then when we were running, who was our leader, who supports truly, not just in word, but in action, what that means in making sure that more women get elected, more women get uh, nominated, more women are appointed to different positions, because that's the only way that we can have many numbers and eventually get to the top. Very quick story, Your Excellency. Let me tell them. His Excellency was that one big brother, like you had said, say, to us. So some of us woke up and decided we wanted to run for governor. At the time, other than my very good supporting cast here, Kimani Shongo and others, many people look at you, and you know I tell these uh, colleagues of mine, my sisters here, I say, you know, for me, people look at me, they're like, ah, she's a small girl, you know. You get. You know, so sometimes, you know, let me tell you an example. There's a time when I first started into politics. I've always been small by, by nature. And uh, then I wanted to run for MP. And my dear mother gave me her, her driver to take me because I was new in the country and I didn't quite know the boundaries. So I walk with this driver, he's big, and me, I'm small, and we walk into a room and everybody say, Mweshimua, Mweshimua, to my driver now. I mean, so it's, it's always been that kind of thing. But this is what I wanted to say when I say that. His Excellency, the President, made sure that he wanted to really help us until we got to the finishing line. So every month or so, we would do polling, Your Excellency. Let me just reveal that a bit so they know what it takes. We would do polling in our areas and you would have your numbers projected how you are doing and we are in a room full of people. You know where people sometimes look, everybody looks down, they don't want to look at your face because now you're trailing this week. And one day His Excellency told me, Susan, I don't want to see you in Nairobi again. Go to the ground and live there. And he told me, you buy rubbers, and if you don't know where to buy rubbers, I will buy for you. <laughs> so even today when I woke up and wore my heel, Your Excellency, I just wanted to tell you that by you making me buy rubbers and stay in that county, I was able to finally deliver. But saying all that to say, you really are so supportive that I wish and I pray that everybody around us, all of us women here who want to run, can get that kind of support. And I want to say that we, even as we begin this G7 and now to G24, and I'll reverse myself there on the G16, I pray that for you sisters whose hands you want held, that we shall be up to the task as we work hard at retaining our seats, because we also can't increase by reducing our numbers, other than our governor here who will go a bit further up because she's a second summer. I just want to tell you, my sisters like Mokami who are here, Haika, you know you are, you are governor, is a second term governor. Haika, wale water wanataka kusimama. Before I get beat up. There are many, they are there, over there, my sister there, deputy governor now. So there are so many. So we want to tell you that here you have a sisterhood. People who have been through what you will go through, because it's not easy. It is, by the way, when we say the president has really been there for us, Your Excellency, allow me just to embarrass myself a bit here today. Many times we would go, personally, I, you know you see me as a strong woman, but I cry a lot. I think, Annie, you also do too. There's a few of us who cry often. So every time we have issues, we go to the boy, you know, it, he doesn't know how to deal with us when we are crying. So he just helps us. And what I'm trying to say is do not be embarrassed to be a woman because that is who you are. Don't tell yourself that you have to be this hard man. Like my brother Sakaja said, be yourself 
be authentic, and once you get the position, do not forget that the reason God put us here, because I believe, it is so that we can take care of those women in Mashinani, especially. So that we can make sure, sure so we can take care of those girls who are not, go, who don't go to school, or those who get impregnated when in school, and those who are not able to access health care, and those women who need water, and thank you, Your Excellency, for the markets that you have brought. For me, I'm so excited, because we campaigned saying that our women will be able to do their jobs in an environment that that has dignity. Now we can have markets that have water, that have lighting, that have toilets, that have lockers, and that is because of you, Your Excellency. So for us women, as, women, as I finish, we are very clear, we must deliver so that we can make sure we don't knock the ladder down, but instead lift others to come join us at the, at the, at the G24. So now as I finish, because I did start a very uh, small tagline there, let me, let me re redo it eh? so when i say g7 it's g24 sour g7 to g24 sorry so g7 to higher one two three g7 g7 to g24 thank you all so much thank you excellency thank you everybody and thank you for the support we appreciate it Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the President of the